you got to take care of yourself, mind, body, and soul. The coronavirus is in this county, and uh, you just want to be uh, careful of that as well as the flu is still going around the country in a very tough way this year. Father always said John 3.16. Let's get the lineup for the two teams. Of course, you'll see the Cabers roster on your screen. And let's get the lineup for the visitors. Otay Ranch, the Mustangs, they're head coached by Wayne Bruton. The uh, uh, Raul Posada is also a head coach or assistant coach. Ginny Ortega is also an assistant coach. The keeper is going to be Jocelyn Chavez. She's a freshman. Skyler Pires is a junior. She's also backup keeper. Number two is Alyssa Rivera, the junior. Number three, the junior, Itzel Sanchez Pineda. Number four, the junior, Elizabeth Vargas. Number five, the junior, Ilusion Doran. Number seven, the freshman, Pilar Torres. Number eight, the sophomore, A.J. Gaines Ramos. Number nine, the junior, Ashlyn Little. Number 10, the sophomore is Sofia Astorga. Number 11, the freshman is Emma Blancas. Number 12, the freshman is Ashley Moreno. Number 13, the senior is Emma Gaines Ramos. Number 14, the sophomore is Elise Javier. Number 15, the sophomore is Avalis Estrada Flores. Number 16, the sophomore is Kylie Rivera. Number 17, the sophomore is Ainsley Schaefer. Number 18, the junior is Ambar Piedra. Number 19, the senior is Erica Briseño. Number 21, the junior is Ashley Gomez. And number two, the senior is Yoli Sanchez Pineda. Samantha Conley is also a keeper, and she's a freshman, and she is injured. This is our, maybe our last game of the season, of the regular season for the Cabers. There's a possibility that we might be able to do something on Tuesday, but if not, on the live stream, um, you know, you were told about it on Saturday. So we look forward to a fabulous match here. The last one in of the South Bay teams for the Cabers as the last team that they played from the South Bay of San Diego was Chula Vista, the Spartans. And they were able to come off with a nice victory right here on a Saturday a couple of weeks ago.
Caitlin Jones now. Up to midfield, intercepted. Ramos near side. Moreno. And it's sent out of play. So it'll be a throw in on the near side for Otay Ranch down in the South Bay. We are right along the S curve, the I 5 freeway just south of Al Balboa Park, downtown San Diego. The oldest original site high school in California. Otay Ranch now, with, still with possession, Rivera sends an early ball and it's out of play. So a lot of time spent so far in the match in the defensive half of the Cavers. As on the season, quality uh, team in Otay Ranch, they are 8-4-2, 5-3-1 in their league. Ball out of play. Throw in for the Cabers. Set out of play. Now the Cabers a chance to get upfield. Haven't done that much so far in this match. Montes taps it back, but it's intercepted along that left flank for the Otay Ranch Mustangs now on the move. Rare Saturday game in the county. But recently the Cavers have had a couple of them. Mentioned at the outset, able to get a victory against the Spartans. Pass in the area. And it's sent out of play. Trying to make a big move that time was Emma Blancas. Blancas. Being a freshman, surely she was on one of those videos that we did back a few years ago. The younger player. And it wasn't high school. Club soccer, we'll be getting to that pretty soon. Maybe some state cup again like we did last uh, spring. As the high school season is about ready to draw to a close. Got a couple of nieces, they just concluded their regular season. And next week will be the last week for San Diego schools and their regular season. Postseason, always a different ball game. A lot of ties by the foothillers of Grossmont. And those ties will not be the scenario in the postseason. You have to do something with them. You either are going to win or you're going to lose because they'll be overtime. And if it goes into penalty kicks, then that's what is the case. You don't know what kind of record the Foothillers would have had with the wins and losses because they've had four ties. Make it five, I believe, now. And that'll all be decided for everybody in the county real soon. Who gets to make it to the postseason? Believe the Cavers are going to be there. Probably a lower seed, but they will be in the playoffs, I believe. Virtue of some good victories. 
this season. Torres, pass into Central. Intercepted nicely, collected in the back by Caitlin Jones. Up to midfield, Montes tried to get it, but she was heavily guarded that time by uh, Flores. And it's out of play, and the Mustangs are going to get able, able to throw it in again. Nil, nil scenario, though, here in the first half. About 10 minutes, make it 11 minutes gone. Guile trying to pursue, but she was deep that time, and uh, ball sent across the field to the near side to Torres again. Torres pursuing it, but won't get to it. Nicely done that time by Shelby Jones. Here's Mara Hyde, best player on the team, and just controls pace, getting it forward and a foul, and now the Cabers will have their opportunity to do some work in the defensive third. Playing at home in the blue uniforms. Sunswept day for now. Don't forget about our uh, Dental Arts of Palm Avenue. That's our sponsor. Just check them out, dentalartsofpalmav.com. Free kick. Alpha deflection, and this one is going to go past the goal line, and it'll be a goal kick. Emma Easton on that free kick. Emma playing in her last games. As a regular season player, as well as her teammates that are seniors. Coming into the match now is Esther Curtis. She's one of those seniors. Along with into the match, her other senior teammate, Madison St. Agathy. Montes, who's been nicked up, struggling through injuries. Takes a shot. It was blocked. Out of play. It'll be a throw-in. For the visitors from Otay Ranch. Over there in the East Lake area. Newest part of South Bay being Chula Vista. Hyde, Hyde now still on a soccer ball, takes a shot and won't get anything into the back of the net as it was not accurate enough that time. But Hyde just showing the defenders they're not in the same league, which he could potentially do. Leah Guile being pressured, and they take it away from her. They double team her in the space. Here come the Otay Ranch. Nice through ball to the outside, but getting back is the Cabers and making the play. The outside defender going to try to track that one down, and it happened that time. Emma Easton. Easton, another one of the seniors. But a throw in now for the Mustangs of Otay Ranch. Right outside the area. It's always dangerous. It's in the area now, but Asuna comes off her line and makes a save. Really enjoyable game on Wednesday. The boys' soccer match against the Islanders of Coronado right here. Balboa Stadium. Foul, and it's going to work against Otay Ranch. So it's going to be a goal kick, or I should say a free kick.
Two to one victory by the Cavers. That boys match. Going down is Hyde. She wears that head adornment because she's had concussions. And trying not to get another one. And limit what you can do as a player of any sport. And nowadays with the focus on head injuries, it can curtail your career. Gaber's getting one to where the keeper Chavez has to touch it. It hadn't been a while. Missed a couple uh, shots off target. And finally, just a few minutes ago, Chavez having to make a save. Still nil-nil at Balboa Stadium. Place where the Chargers started off. Way back in the day when they first came down from L.A. Dropping it back to her keeper is Shelby Jones. Playing with her sister on this caver squad. Osuna's being pressured. Osuna now trying to find it. And they were just able to get that ball out of danger. Emma Easton coming over. But Osuna was in trouble that time and did not have any help for the moment. And a big play, the... Otay Ranch Mustangs could have been able to put it in the back of the net. Big one averted that time by the Cabers. We saw the Foothillers on Thursday lose a chance to win a match because their keeper made a mistake with the defender and the niece of Pablo was able to intercept the soccer ball and put it in the back of the net. Otay Ranch now. They have a fresh player in. For this corner kick, the set piece. Let's see what they do with it. Out swinger looking for somebody on the backside. It's not going to happen. So it'll be a throw in for the Cabers. Los Alamitos is still the number one team in the state. They are 21, 4, and 3, having themselves a fabulous season. We'll run down the rest of those teams a little bit later. Green sent out of play, and so now, uh, after the turnover, the Mustangs are going to have an opportunity here in the attacking third. They've had a lot of it in this match here in the first half. Cavers give away. Trying to work up from the back. Intercepted into space. Intercepted. Nicely done that time by Kenzie Easton. That it'll be a throw in now for Otay Ranch. Kenzie's a junior. Be back for another season. Her sister's a senior. She will not be back for another season. Intercepted by Torres, and Torres on the near side trying to link up with Rivera. Rivera keeps it in. Alyssa now cuts it back. Lissa back up field, and it is tapped out by the Cabers. So Moreno will throw it in. Not able to control it that time was Alyssa Rivera, the junior. So substitution is going to come in. Coming in now is uh, Samantha Durst, the freshman. For Dominica Montes. Fifty fifty ball. Shelby Jones 
Mara Hyde wins it. Mara Hyde, around three players, was trying to go forward, could not. It sent out of play. Coming over there in the space was Caitlin Jones making a good play. Caitlin, another one of the seniors. Moreno throws it in. Gets a return pass. Sends it to the central. Intercepted. Agathy sending it across the field. Not able to link up with Guile. We've seen her put good balls in the back of the net, both of them. Intercept it. Ochai Ranch, Ramos. Near side for Torres. Torres cuts it inside. Torres still on a soccer ball, intercepted by the Cavers. Trying to get upfield. Shelby Jones, but nobody to link up with, so it's going to be a throw in. By Otay Ranch, and that's Moreno getting it in. Jones. A little bit of a warning that time, and some of the contact. It's going to be a throw in the attacking third again for Otay Ranch. Nothing to show for all of this territorial advantage in this match yet for the Mustangs. That could be the nature of the match. Agathy on the near side and a heavy touch that time. And it'll be a throw in for Otay Ranch. Senior would have liked to have that one back. They had something going. In the central. Intercepted by Dirtst. Dirtst again, the freshman, but she gets pickpocketed and a quick turnaround on the counterattack. Rivera. Rivera gets a return pass. Nice dribbling, an early ball now, and a central save by Asoda. Big save that time coming off her lawn. Keeping it a nil nil score. Otai Ranch. Their best quality play that time. Here they come again now across uh, the field. Switch a point of attack now. Here's a shot up in the air and it's too high. So it'll be a goal kick. And the Mustangs buzzing around again. Trying to create problems for the Cabers. But the Cabers are still knotted up in a nil-nil affair with them here in the first half. Here's Hyde. Hyde now not able to get it to anybody, so it's a turn takeover, I should say. Turnover, better word. Here's Rivera now getting away from defenders. Rivera cannot continue. Good defense that time by the Cabers. Intercepted Durst that time. Upfield for the Cabers. San Diego High School, they want to get upfield. Here's Guile now. Leah Guile. Agathy trying to get to it. Way too much pace on it. Chavez just waited for her to come into her arms. Soccer ball upfield now. Intercepted by the Cabers. They send it out of play, and on the near side, it'll be a throw-in with Moreno. The Rebels, a good soccer club in the South Bay, providing some quality players. Some of them are on the uh, foothillers. And we've seen them in various teams down in the South Bay. Trying to get something going. It's tapped out. 
And a good defensive play that time by Shelby Jones, making sure that that ball is tapped out by the striker. Especially in a match where her team has spent a lot of time in its defensive half. Inside, 15 minutes left to go. In the first half. Hyde. Hyde, knocked down. No call that time. 50-50 ball. Upfield, Samantha Durst, but her pass is picked off. Mustangs, good passing. Good structure out there this afternoon. Not able to get anything in the back of the net so far. Montes. Rather, that was uh, Torres. Correction on that. The center ref says play on. And it's going to be intercepted, sent upfield. Shelby Jones. Curtis. Pass intercepted. Near side. Ramos. Sent it across the field where the Cabers were able to get to it. But now the Mustangs have it again now. Try to play it through ball to connection right in front of the keeper, Asuna. But uh, that didn't work out. For Otay Ranch. Check out our webpage. That's gksports.org. The top of the page is all the social media sites. Got a league that just started today in the world of professional football called the XFL. I was just watching that before I came to the stadium. All that news and much, much more. On our Facebook page, the conversation with retweets on the Twitter page, and, of course, pictures on the gram. That's gksports.org. 50-50 ball. Cabers trying to continue their progress in the defensive half. Haven't had much of it. Collision, and it's going to work against the Cabers. So it's going to be a free kick now for Old Time Ranch. They have one really good quality shot on target, and Osuna made the save. I'm going to get a little pump of the soccer ball. Again, affordable rates for the entire family when it comes to your dental needs and care of your mouth, dental Stuff is always important just as well as the rest of your body when it comes to health. So check them out, dentalartsofpalmab.com. They're in the South Bay right across from the Montgomery High School in the strip mall. Didn't get a chance to see the Cavers this year down in the South Bay Classic, but maybe they might be there. That was played at San Ysidro High School and Montgomery High School. Foothillers were there for three games. So we'll see how it goes next year. Let me sub coming in. Head coach Wayne Bruton. Looks like the captain is coming in. Throw in right outside the area for Otay Ranch. Into the central, but it's intercepted and sent up field for the Cabers. Agathy trying to track it down. Won't get there in time. I believe that's Piedra that came into the match.
Tough to see the number. Fifty fifty ball, Leah Guile winning it. And then lost the handle on it. So now it's going to be a throw in now for the Mustangs. Nail, nail, just inside. Ten minutes left to go in the first half. Neither team has put one into the back of the net yet. On a Saturday afternoon affair. Matinee, they call it. One of the teams that we, in the professional ranks of hockey, National Hockey League, the LA Kings, put a lot of Stuff about them on the Facebook page. and They have a lot of games. That will, they will be playing them around noontime or early in the afternoon. Call them a matinee. Tamar Hyde looking for Agathy. Missed her that time. Durst. Heads it in some space, but there were two Mustang players there. He didn't get far enough. Torres. Piedra, who did come in, could not get to it. Will go after it now, misses it. Easton. Down the right flank, looking for Guile. It does get to her, and then it's sent out of play. So it'll be a throw in in the defensive third for the Mustangs of Otay Ranch. The best chance so far in this match to get a score between the two teams. But not able to convert, so we are still nil nil. In a deep back, midfield, Easton driving it upfield. It's quite. Get it to Agathy, but uh, now it is sent out by the Cabers. Fresh player coming in now for Otay Ranch. And now some fresh players coming in for the Cabers. Three of them, Montes, Dominica, eight. Izzy Ayala is 33 out there. And, of course, uh, Savannah Tinsley is 19. Ayala is only a freshman, 33 out there. Only two freshmen on the team, and Durst is the other one. The other player that came in for Otay Ranch, we will mention her as she touches that soccer ball out there. The shot, way too high, as you just saw. The attacker had a step, just couldn't get a good, accurate shot. Coming on, six minutes left to go, unofficial time. In the first half, Osuna. In its nil-nil match. Cavers doing what they need to do defensively. Keep it a close match. And to keep Otay Ranch off the board. Handball that time by Tinsley. So it's a free kick now for Otay Ranch. Let's see what they do with this set piece. Off of one bounce, but not accurate enough. 
Take a look at the number one team in the section, and that is Cathedral Catholic, 19-2-3. And, and we'll mention much more about that as the rest of this match ensues. Ball is out of play. It'll be a throw in now for the Cavers on a mistake by Otai Ranch. Just a few minutes left to go in the first half. Fifty fifty ball winning it that time was Tinsley. Montes tried to turn, and it is sent out of play, and they get closer now to the goal. Right outside the 18 for the Cabers. Off of a bounce, Hyde. Hyde pursues it again, and it is touched out. Nice, smart play that time by Mara Hyde. So now our teammates even closer to goal. Sent out, and it'll be a corner kick. Not much to cheer about on the near side because they haven't had a lot of time in the defensive half of Otai Ranch. And that's not normally the case when they've been playing at home this season. Been doing real well at putting a lot of pressure on defenders of the opposing team. And now they're going to try to do it here. On a line drive, trying to get a header on the back side. Trying to get a second ball, and Hyde intercepts it. Nicely done. Here's Mar Hyde weaving her way again. You've seen it many times. Hyde's shot is blocked. Upfield, old time ranch now. Here's uh, Elizabeth Vargas. Vargas now. Gets it to Piedra. Piedra. Through ball on the outside. The overlapping run. Cut inside. Intercepted in the back. Nicely done by Samantha Green. And can't run over the player. Pushing the back. It's going to be a free kick now. In the central, Asuna comes off her line and makes the save. That was really close to contact as well. And Pablo and I have seen too much of the contact or problems with the keepers recently in the games that we've done. Pushing the back, not called that time. 50-50 ball on the near side. It goes out of play. So it'll be a throw in by Moreno. Moreno, the youngster, gets it in. Intercepted. Nicely done that time by Durst. Hyde, near side to Jones. Trying to get that ball over to Ayala, but uh, not able to link up. Otay Ranch for the throw in. Just a, maybe a minute or so and some change left in the first half. Controlling it nicely that time was Easton. But it's intercepted upfield. Foul called, free kick. Late in the first half, a chance for Otay Rance to try to put it in the back of the net. They've had the territorial advantage mostly in its first half. Most of the touches, nothing to show for it yet. Out 
Ashley Gomez is going to take it. The junior drives a hard shot off of Piedra now. Asuna looking for it and finds it at the last moment. That's the end of the first half of action. So after 40 minutes of play, it's a nil-nil affair. We hope you've enjoyed it, wherever you're watching it from. And in about 10 to 15 minutes, we'll be back with the second half on this live stream. And, of course, on the second copy, whenever you see the second copy, the highlights of the first half begin right now. Back to her keeper is Shelby Jones. Playing with her sister on this caber squad. Osuna's being pressured. Osuna now trying to find it. And they were just able to get that ball out of danger. Emma Easton coming over. But it's a return pass. Nice dribbling. An early ball now. And a central save by Osuna. Big save that time coming off her lawn. The junior drives a hard shot off of Piedra now. Osuna looking for it and finds it at the last moment. Mission Bay is 6-0-1 uh, in their first place. Patrick Henry is 3-2-2. Two two. They're in second place. Sarah is 3-3-1. Three, three of course, the Cabers just beat them. Uh, San Diego, of course, is 2-5-1, and, and Christian is 1-5-1. This is the only game that was played today and our correction um we have a score where uh an earlier game Monta Vista was able to beat Christian five to one of course on Tuesday Monta Vista will be playing the Cabers right here Take a look at the Division II section standings. Martyr Day Catholic, they're the number one team. They're 14-0-1. Number two is Mission Bay, 16-0-2. Three is Helix, 13-4-2. Uh, fourth is Escondido Charter, 11-3-3. San Diego Academy is uh, fifth. They're 11-3-5. Sixth is Benita Vista, 10-4-2. Seventh is Mission Hills at 10-5-4. Eighth is Central, 11, 6, and 2. Ninth is Mount Carmel, 10, 6, and 6. And 10th is Point Loma at 8, 5, and 4. The Cabers are right behind them at 11th. Francis Parker, 12th. Olympian is 13th. Sarah is 14th. Patrick Henry, shift colors for you sailors out there. Past and present, we're underway. Patrick Henry is followed by Fallbrook. Christian, San Pasquale, La Jolla, and Oceanside. Of course, the Cabers are going from left to right in the blue. Right to left is the Mustangs, and they're trying to do something right away, but they were offsides on play. Remember, they had the territorial advantage in the first half, most of the touches in the defensive half uh, against the keeper, Alexandra Asuna, the junior, and now Vongo is the starting keeper and she is here and she's playing in the second half. She's also a junior. Take a look at the Division Three section standings. It's uh, Monta Vista is the number one team. They're 16-2-0. Mission Vista is number two. They're 12-2-2. Three is El Capitan, 12-4-0. Coronado is fourth. They're 13-5-1. University City, 13-5-3. Then it's Otay Ranch, 9-4-2. Pacific Ridge follows them at 10-5-0. Santa Fe Christian is 9-5-1. One. 
Sage Creek is 9-5-3. and three. Eleventh is Santana, nine seven and two. They're followed by Hilltop at seven seven and four. La Jolla Country Day at six seven and three. Ramona is five six and five. Mira Mesa seven two seven nine and two. Vista five eight and four. Seven eleven and four is Chula Vista Valley Center five eight and two. Montgomery is six eleven and five. Six sixteen and two is Mon is. Uh, Brawley and 317-2 is Mar Vista. And those are the Division Three standings, which Otay Ranch is a part of. Near side, ball out of play. Ramos will throw it in. Intercepted. Gabers, Montes, Hyde. Couldn't quite get it. Taken away by Otay Ranch. Upfield. Kind of flick on that time by Caitlin Jones. Here's a shot and a save. Best shot in the entire match so far. Kenzie Easton, the freshman Ayala, intercepted now. Here comes Otay Ranch now on the move. Outside the area, and it's knocked out of play. And it'll be a corner kick, knocked out by the Cavers. About five minutes gone here in the second half. Still a nil-nil score. Here at Balboa Stadium. Campus of the oldest high school on its original site, San Diego High School. Right next to the S-curve of the I-Freeway. Right next to San Diego City College, who a couple years ago won the state championship in basketball. A.J. Gaines Ramos is going to throw it in for Otay Ranch. Piedra able to get the soccer ball to where she can do something with it, at least get a shot off her. Not accurate enough. Pilar Vongo now. Get it started. Cavers not being able to do much offensively in this match. But they've kept Otay Ranch from putting it in the back of the net. Here's Montes. Near side. Pressure was sufficient, but then they give it away. Montes wins it. The through ball on the near side now for Shelby Jones. Jones able to try and get to it, but then uh, ran off it at the last moment. Montes in on the intercept. Try to keep him in the uh, defensive third. It'll be a throw in now for Otay Ranch.
Mar Hyde on the intercept. Hyde gets a nice through ball now. Her teammate just couldn't quite get to it. Hyde trying to get that soccer ball to Meline Mata. And Mata, the sophomore, nearly got onto that soccer ball. Here's the throw in, looking for Hyde. Wins it, Hyde in outside the area. Hyde nearly tripped up, and that would have been a penalty kick. But uh, she was able to keep her balance that time. And that was a dangerous play for the defender. We saw a penalty kick already this week in girls varsity soccer. Again, our fourth game of this particular week. The third girls game and a boys game on Wednesday. Hopefully you've seen all of the action. And if not, subscribe. Tell your friends. We're going to keep bringing that live stream to you. More schools will get involved down the road. Although we've shown in the three years a lot of schools in this county. Whether private or public. Mostly public. Going to be a throw in now for Otay Ranch. We filmed Otay Ranch before against the Foothillers in our first season a couple years ago. And some of these players were actually on that team. Caber's trying to win that soccer ball up front. Couldn't do it. However, trying to keep Otay Ranch from putting a lot of pressure on them as they have done primarily in the first half, Rivera. Teammate, it's intercepted in the back now. Mata, Green, couldn't hold on to it. Somewhat of a chilly afternoon, but it's winter time, not uncommon. 50-50 ball. Otay Ranch trying to go up forward, but can't. And now they're able to win a soccer ball, and they get it to Pedra. Back to Bongo. Bongo sends it upfield. Nice play that time by Durst. Montes. In the central. The nearest side, the touch by Ramos again. Gets it over to Vargas, Elizabeth Vargas now. Cuts it to the near side now to uh, Ramos. Gains Ramos on the move now. Out of the outside to Rivera. Just not a good touch. And it's taken away by the Cabers. Had time and space, but had troubles with it that time. Was Rivera. Had something going. Caber is able to get to the soccer ball and muck up the play. It's going to be a throw in now by uh, A.J. Gaines Ramos. Gaines Ramos gets it into Vargas now. Elizabeth Vargas. Yedra on the near side. Dernst didn't get all of it and gave it away. To Rivera. Piedra now cuts it inside. She was looking for her teammate Rivera, but she wasn't in the space. But now intercepts it in the area now. Cuts it to the near side now. And the shot is blocked. And is able to almost get it back. 
the junior making moves, Ambar Piedra trying to link up or either get a good accurate shot on Vongo. Not able to do it, but they'll get another throw in. Piedra upfield, the giveaway. Caitlin Jones now on the near side to her teammate and sister, Sel Shelby Jones, into the center of the dangerous hide now. She's all alone. Hard to go. Go, 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 go. One nil, the Cavers of San Diego High School. You can't let Mara Hyde alone. If you do, she will put it in the back of the net. So the territorial advantage and most of the touches in this match have been for Otai Ranch, but the Cavers have the first goal into the back of the net. And all that work was done on the near side by Shelby Jones, getting that ball to Mara Hyde. Jones goes after it again and won't get to it. But it'll be a throw in. So now the pressure is on the team in white, Otai Ranch. The Division Three team, a good Division Three team, as you've seen so far in this match. Coming on just inside 26 minutes left to play in the match. And the Mustangs of Otay Ranch will stay in the South Bay for their final two games. Playing this non-league affair on a Saturday, the matinee one. Still a lot of time in this match. Hyde now, almost knocked down. She was knocked down earlier at the, almost knocked down at the end of the first half, right outside the area. Montes, double team. Dominique Montes finds a little space, gets it to Shelby Jones. She takes a shot. And the keeper has to drift back, but makes the save. Upfield now. Intercepted that time by Kenzie Easton. Sent out of play, though. So Otay Ranch now with a throw in at about midfield. Don't forget to let us know. If you're watching this match, this is a live stream. We don't mind you saying something about your team. Anytime you watch any of these matches, these live stream matches here in the county. Or who you're going for. You can even say something about the women's national team who played very well again and are in the championship and are going to the Olympics, trying to win it this time around. Didn't do well last time. The two-time World Cup champions. Leah Guile into the match, number 20. Guile, another one of those seniors. Eight seniors on this team. And a lot of juniors. So the young players are going to be pressed into some serious duty next season. But all the young players will be the ones that hopefully can make the Cavers even stronger in Division Two towards trying to win the section. Not next year, the following year. As the Cabers were Division Three section champions last season. Foothillers of Grossmont won Division Two last season. 
And they're in Division One now. Ramos into the central. Torres making it a nice move, but dispossessed. Through ball, but too much on it. And it was in the central to where no chance for Jones to really run that one down. Piedra, Piedra and her pass. Taken away now, and uh, 1v1, trying to stay with a striker, a shot, and it is off, but it probably is going to be a penalty kick, and it's a red card. So now the Cabers will play one player down. No yellow card, he just went right to the red card. Going to be a substitution that's going to be coming in, and that's uh, Ayala. Not a penalty kick, just a free kick. Here's a chance to tie up this match for Otay Ranch. See what they do. Gomez is taking it. Ashley Gomez now. Save again. A great, another great save by Vongo here at Balboa Stadium. She did the same thing against the Spartans on a Saturday afternoon to give them a chance to win the match. And does it again today. And when they counted, there was a foul on that play, or they were either offside. So even if they had put it in the back of the net, but Bongo, with the athletic dive, showed she could do that. They haven't seen her in this match, and she's only played in the second half. Early ball over the top, near by for Jones. Near side, Jones still pursuing it, but uh, can't keep it in. So it'll be a goal kick. Near side. Otay Ranch trying to go upfield. Piedra. Ambar. Sandwich that time, but still got it off to her teammate Vargas. And upfield. Otay Ranch. And that ball is sent across the field now. Tried to get to it that time was Ayala. Couldn't do it. 
And still on the counterattack. Here's Rivetta now. Nice dribbling. Rivetta sends a service now trying to get a header. Was a little bit too high. Try to get the second ball in the area. They do now. Here is Vargas now, and no problem for Vongo. Again, the Cavers playing one player down as they were red carded with a player. Jones. Rivetta. Got to play a little bit more of a zone type of scenario. You play one player down. But I have seen actually teams, even though they're one player down, they play harder and have made it harder for the team. The oppo uh, their opponent now, a deflection now. Is it into the back of the net or is it a save? It is a save. It did not go across the line. Bongo able to keep it from going across the line after a couple of deflections. And Otay Ranch has really got to be reeling here. They've had the territorial advantages. They've had some pretty good shots. And now they're playing with an extra player. And they're still down 1-0. 16 minutes left to play or thereabouts in the match. Dominated the situation in this match, but yet they find themselves down 1 0. The Cabers in the back now. Feeling dominant at home as they have been all season. Even gave Mission Bay problems at home, even though Mission Bay was able to win the match. That's the number one team, as I mentioned earlier, in the Eastern League and one of the best teams in the entire county. Shot, and Bongo makes the save. Take a look at the top ten. That's Los Alamitos, as I mentioned earlier. Clovis North of Fresno. They're 19-1-2. Third is Upland. They're 22-0. Fourth is Monta Vista. They're 12-1-2. Fifth is Cathedral Catholic out of San Diego. They're 19-2-3 in the state. Sixth is Davis, they're nine, zero, and three. Seventh is J. Sarah Catholic, they're 13 and four. Eighth is Via Park, they're 16 and four. Ninth is Santa Margarita, they're 13, two, and two. And 10th is Temecula Valley, they're 17, two, and five. Those are the best teams in the state as far as the record are concerned with max preps. And now there's a conversation going on as coming out of the match, is Mara Hyde. Well, a player must have got hurt or something the near side. Just could not breathe and we do not want to see that either because Earlier in the week, we had a player with a collapsed lung that actually had to be taken to the hospital uh, in the Grossmont game against uh, West Hills. So hopefully Shelby Jones will be okay, the sophomore. At times there's, you have a cold or some sort of respiratory problem. And see my niece have that scenario. Never have I seen the collapsed lung scenario and don't understand why that young lady was playing at all, but there again, that's the decision of her parents. Allow her to play as well as the school. And unfortunately, it flared itself up the other night. It's going to be a free kick for the Cabers. After this free kick, we'll mention the other teams that name and finish out the uh, state rankings. Taking this one is Caitlin Jones. 
She's not going to. Going to give it to Mar Hyde now. And Hyde is going to run it up there towards the keeper. No, she play, plays a good pass. It's Guile at us off the side of frame. I like that play, though. Haven't seen it in a while. Carondelet of Concord is 11th. St. Francis of Sacramento is 12th. Lisa Nigal is 13th. Hart is 14th. 15th is Pacifica. Harvard Westlake is 16th. Buchanan is 17th. Troy of Fullerton is 18th. 19th is Clovis. Camarillo is 20th. Modern Day of Santa Ana is 21st. Edison of Huntington Beach, 22nd. 23rd is Carlsbad in the state. 24th is St. Francis. And 25th is Montgomery of Santa Rosa. And those are your state rankings as of now. Just inside, 12 minutes left to play here at Balboa Stadium. The Cabers enjoying a 1-0 lead. Totally dominated territorially in the first half. Been a lot more even in the second half. But it's the Cabers that put one in the back of the net, courtesy of Mara Hyde on a beautiful pass from Shelby Jones. And if the Cabers can make it stand up, they will have a very set successful campaign against the South Bay schools. Of course, Eastlake is not a part of that. But Otay Rand still trying to do something about it and getting in. And mucking up that shot that time was Maylene Mata, the sophomore. Edge coach Steve Lincoln has done a fine job, along with all those up here in the uh, announcing booth. His wife a part of that. Will Hogue, other classmates being able to do a fine job even from the team it's been a fabulous uh, first year run in association with San Diego High School and look forward to more look forward to some road games next season who knows maybe even the boys program as well but we hope that you continue to Watch not only what we're doing with San Diego High, but all the other high schools that we feature, as well as the uh, club soccer and other sports. Right here, just subscribe. GK Sports, we're at the game. And inside the area is Otay Ranch. A header, it's over the top of frame and through the uprights that time. And so another... Offensive attempt thwarted by the Cavers. Inside 10 minutes, inside nine and a half left to play in the match. Can the Cavers hold on? Playing at home. Overwhelmed in the first part of the match. But finding a way to make sure that Otay Ranch doesn't put one in the back of the net. And now they've played a lot more even with them. Gaber's able to beat Chula Vista, the Spartans, when they came over here a couple weeks ago. Able to get a tie with Benita Vista. You'll be seeing that one on the site soon. Talk about the second copy of that with the instant replays and the highlights. On the soccer ball now is Caitlin Jones sending a ball forward, but it got intercepted, but they get it back in the back. But now here come Otay Ranch with Vargas. Jones intercepts it. Otay Ranch doesn't allow them to have it very long. They have it again. And the attacking third now in the area on the shot. No, it did not go across the line as it was knocked away again by Vongo. 
Mongo getting her hands on it again and saving the soccer ball from going across the line. Good lateral movement that time by Vongo. The quickness with it in the hands. Getting a piece of the soccer ball. Looked like Otai Ranch had a chance again to tie up the match. And earlier, Osuna making a fine save. They could have maybe had at least three goals into the back of the net, but that hasn't happened. They find themselves down 1-0. And if they do not put it in the back of the net, they will think about their chances in this match, especially early on, not converting. Here they come again now, taken away by Caitlin Jones. Outside the area, the dribbling is very good right now, and it is sent behind frame. Starting to cause problems with, with some of the defenders for the Cavers. Mongo now, the goal kick. And it's one nil affair. San Diego High School Cavers hide on the soccer ball. Hide to the near side. Gets it over her teammate Samantha Durst. And then it was sent out of play. Shelby Jones back into the match. As out of the match is Ayala, the freshman. Green drops it back towards midfield. Dominica Montes towards high, but she didn't get it. Pineda. Gomez, who turned around and then tried to get it to her teammate, and it's taken away now on a quick counterattack. And they're able to keep it from getting to Leah Guile. Vargas plays it to the outside. Vargas on a return pass now. Dispossessed with Torres. Ramos, who sent that ball out, an overlapping run. Up too high on another shot. Getting some good quality shots here in the second half. The time is running out on the Mustangs. About four minutes and some change left to play in the match. Mara Hyde on the synthetic turf sends that ball out to Jones. Shelby Jones. Jones on the move. Jones is being bodied up there and gave up the soccer ball. But coming over there and making sure it doesn't get any further was Caitlin Jones, her sister. Every time it goes out, it works for the Cavers. As that clock. Tick, 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 tick. Not a running clock. That is the thing that makes it tough in this sport. A football a ball with the geometric designs of that world's most famous sport. Near side, ball over to Rivera. And it is out of play off the Cavers. So it'll be a throw in now. Ashley Moreno. Mentioned in the first half, some of these players on Otay Ranch have been on GK Sports before. 
in a club soccer realm years ago. And now, as I mentioned in some of the other games, you see them now at the high school level. East Lake had a, a player that was brought up from the JV that was on GK Sports before. The younger player. Flores sending across the field. And now Torres sends it out to the outside. Try to get a return pass. It's intercepted by the Cabers as they compact and mark up. Otay Ranch now. Guile able to get to the soccer ball. But it's intercepted. Inside two minutes left to play in a match. Rivita. Rivita again showing her ball skills, dropping it back. Gets it over to Gomez. Back to Rivita. 1 2 ball. Rivita now. Line drive, but no problem for the keeper, Villard Vongo, the junior. Mongo has played the entire second half and done a great job. Asuna did what she needed to do. I understand Bongo was taking a test, an SAT-type test, trying to get to college, a good college at that. Good throw in now by Samantha Durst, who's had a good game. Here's Guile now. They're trying to chase her down. The near side, it goes off of the defender, and it's out of play. Throw in now. Montes to Hyde. Hyde will find a way and gets it over to Montes. Montes was knocked down right outside the area. It's going to be a free kick. And if you're Otai Ranch, you don't want the ball in your own defensive third. You need to have possession. And you need to get up forward. Will they take a shot or will they just try to keep possession and eat up more time? Hyde will take the free kick. The bending ball. And on the backside, Kyle just couldn't quite put it in the back of the net. If you're the Mustangs, you couldn't give up a goal here. And Guile nearly put it in the back of the net. Center ref looking at his watch. Tells you very limited amount of time for the Mustangs. Intercepted by the Cabers. You can see what the program has yielded. A team that surely with another victory is going to be in the playoffs. And that victory is this afternoon in a very short amount of time with the double whistle being blown. 50-50 ball now. Guile up forward. Just sends a slow one at the keeper. Eats up time off the clock. Towards midfield, Jones will let it go out of play. And they'll have a throw in and not going to be in a hurry to go get it. Don't forget, again, our sponsor. Of course, that's Dental Arts of Palm Avenue. Affordable rates, insurance. Check them out on their website. For all your dental needs for the entire family, dentalartsofpalmav.com. Mara Hyde now on the soccer ball after the throw in. Will eat up as much time as possible. Drifting left, drifting right. But it's intercepted now by Rivetta. Rivetta now wants to get her teammates to get forward. But it's intercepted in the back. Sent out of play. They'll have one last chance to try to do something here. Can't afford for it to go up the field. Keep it up inside, 
to throw in. On it now is a Little. Little across the field. Not a good first touch, but they still have possession now. On the near side, oh, Tyrants want to get us through ball or a pass. They do it. Caroms right over to Vongo for a save. Just couldn't get one of the players to get into the space on that service. Up into the air, Vongo just sends it out of play. Moreno will throw it in. For Otay Ranch High School, Montes. Mara High just sends it between the two defenders. All the way downfield, and that's the end of the match. The San Diego High School Cavers able to win a tough one against Otay Ranch. Final score, one nil. And more than likely, they're going to be one of the teams in the Division II playoffs. Winning a key match at home. Hopefully you enjoyed this one from Balboa Stadium on the campus of San Diego High School. Again, it's been a tired pleasure this season doing San Diego High School girls varsity soccer and then getting a bonus to do the boys one time. So we look for great things moving on next season. Of course, don't forget our website. That's gksports.org. All you got to do is go to the top of the page. All the social media is there. The Facebook, and we are updating sports every single day on the Facebook page, uh, high school or pro. Of course, the uh, conversation on Twitter, same thing, and the pictures on Instagram. For Pablo Espy now, my cameraman bringing you the live stream and the sights and sounds from Balboa Stadium, San Diego High School. I'm Greg K. Porter saying take care of yourself. God bless. And uh, we hope to see you down there next time. So long from Balboa Stadium in San Diego. Dropping it back to her keeper is Shelby Jones. Playing with her sister on this caver squad. Osuna's being pressured. Osuna now trying to find it. And they were just able to get that ball out of danger. Emma Easton coming over. Ravetta gets a return pass. Nice dribbling. An early ball now. And a central save by Osuna. Big save that time coming off her lawn. The junior drives a hard shot off of Piedra now. Osuna looking for it and finds it. Teammate and sister, Shelby Jones, into the center of the dangerous hide now. She's all alone. Hard a goal. Go, 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 go. Taken away now, and 1v1, trying to stay with a striker, a shot, and it is off, but it probably is going to be a penalty kick. And Gomez is taking it. Ashley Gomez now. Save again. A great, another great save by Vongo here at Balboa Stadium. Montes. Double team. Dominique Montes finds a little space. Gets it to Shelby Jones. She takes a shot. And the keeper has to drift back but makes the save. One player down. They play harder and have made it harder for the team. The, uh, po uh, their opponent now, a deflection now. Is it in the back of the net or is it a save? It is a save. It did not go across the line. Yeah. Club soccer and other sports right here. Just subscribe. GK Sports, we're at the game. And inside the area is Otay Ranch. A header, it's over the top of frame and through the uprights that time. And and the attacking third, now in the area on the shot. No, it did not go across the line as it was knocked away again by Vongo. Hyde will take the free kick, the bending ball. And on the backside, Kyle just couldn't quite put it in the back of the net. But they still have possession now on the near side. Oh, Tyrants want to get us 
through ball or a pass. They do it. Caroms right over to Von Gold for a save. My cameraman bringing you the live stream and the sights and sounds from Balboa Stadium, San Diego High School. I'm Greg K. Porter saying take care of yourself. God bless. And uh, we hope to see you down there next time. So long from Balboa Stadium in San Diego.